This is Axiom Holographic's hologram table. It projects objects out of light up into the air from the table surface. The holograms look like solid objects, but you can put your hand straight through them. It's used by airports, government departments, defense, architecture, and universities. It has a number of very advanced features. The graphics engine is the most powerful in the world. You can import laser scans or 3D data of whole cities or even entire countries. It loads them in less than a second and runs them no matter how big they are. We've also created a new multi-user hologram technology that solves one of the biggest problems of the holographics industry. Normally, if you projected a hologram up from a table and you had a person on the front and another person on the back, then the computer would get confused as it could not project the same hologram from two perspectives in the same place at once. To overcome this, our table uses a new patented light wave separation technology, which splits the light spectrum and allows each user to see the object from their side of the table. And the holograms project up to 70 centimeters high. They can also project down into the table up to one meter. It's easy to use and easy to get started. The holograms can be imported from most known 3D formats. You can upload your models and make your presentations using our own software, or you can make content using Unreal Engine 4. The table also connects to a separate 3D wall projection or to a TV to show an audience what's being looked at. Here are some use cases. NASA's Mars rover beams its laser surface scans back to Earth. Professor Benedict at Curtin University then analyzes and studies the craters with her team on the hologram table. Every time I come in here and I look at a three-dimensional image of Mars, it just renews my interest and in wanting to find out more about this other planet. This is a vision of the Martian surface. It's showing the area where NASA's Mars 2020 rover will land. And the idea there is that they are looking specifically for evidence of um, organic activity, life. Professor Benedict's role using computer data now connected to this 3D technology is to map and count tiny craters on Mars. What we can do is take that information and apply it to this particular area and get very high resolution ages of specific regions within the crater and around the crater. Many universities are using hologram tables now. Wisconsin, Sydney University, Queensland University, Swinburne, Louisiana, Milan University in Italy and many others. Some of these universities have laser scans like this wrecked underwater ship. In other cases, they wanted to view large building projects in 3D. In the government sector, Queensland Transport and Main Roads, Qatar Military, Azerbaijan Government, Hong Kong Airport and many others are all using hologram tables. Prime Minister Modi of India recently unveiled the plans for Asia's largest airport using one of our hologram tables. Holographics used to be a bit of an unstable field where things were often breaking down. We've solved all of those problems and in 2019, the mayor of Silicon Valley gave this device the Yosemite Award for Best New Technology. Additional information. You can have two tracked users or two groups. In the case of group users, they must be on the same north, south, east, west side as the master tracked glasses they're connected to. The hologram table will require a dark environment as it projects using light. The device uses four bulb delta based projectors and comes with spare ones and glasses and spectator glasses. The glasses are for separating the light perspectives. They're not virtual reality. You don't have little screens over your eyes. It's very fast loading times and superior rendering power is because it's been built using the Euclidean Unlimited Detail Graphics Engine. There is here. If I could have my office in this room, I would be here every day. This is very exciting. Please contact us for more information.